Hello guys, welcome to the first video of Matrix Theory and in this video I am going to tell what is Matrix and then I am going to say how Matrix gets added and how they get subtracted in this way. Okay, so first of all what is a Matrix? See, it is not something like uh, the Matrix movie. <laughs> Obviously, it is not like the matrix from biology, which is like uh, the you know the uh, inside the cell, all the liquid fluidy things that are there. That there, some and then those are called as a matrix. Uh, I think then inside plastic, there is one ma matrix thing, but it is absolutely different from that. Okay, so what actually matrix is? I can say it is an arrangement of numbers. Which type of numbers? Arrangement along some rows and some columns. Okay. Like uh, one particular problem I can say, suppose I have two origins, origin 1 and origin 2. Uh, suppose there are two factories, origin 1 is the first factory, origin 2 is the second factory. And I have two destinations, like the destinations be D1 and D2. I just assume that I require a few transportation cost. I mean, some money has been spent on transportation. Let the uh, the cost for, for transportation from origin 1 to destination 1 is x1, origin 1 to destination 2 is x2, origin 2 to destination 1 is x3, and origin 2 to destination 2 is x4. Okay, now you clearly can see if I just define all of this, then these four numbers are nothing but an arrangement of particular numbers, right? I cannot put here this one into here or this one into here. Everything will be collapsed. Everything will be, you know, uh, upside will come to down because this is the cost from this to this. This cannot come here. Okay. So, and then if I simply what do, if I simply write it inside this big parenthesis, then it will be nothing but a matrix. We shall call it as a matrix. Okay. But it is just a notation or convention which we use here. Now those who are studying BSc level mathematics, they can tell you that this is actually an assignment problem from operational research and uh, that LPP that you guys are learning, this is just an advanced application or advanced implication of that LPP. Okay. And when you will study in future classes, especially in your undergraduate and then graduate classes in linear algebra and in functional analysis, you will see that the matrices are mappings. A mapping is been denoted by a matrix. Okay, so matrix has a very big field of applications, and there is one particular field called matrix analysis, and that is a very, very vast and very uh, very beautiful field that is okay. So you guys don't have to know what matrix actually is from the depth of the theories. You don't have to understand why matrix denotes a uh, mapping, why these all things happen. You don't have to understand that, but you guys need to understand the ways to manipulate a matrix so that whenever in future you need to use that for higher studies or for higher research you will be able to manipulate matrix as you want. So let's start from the genesis and matrix addition, matrix multiplication, matrix subtraction. These all are the very basic thing in matrix theory. Okay, so let's start with addition and subtraction. Okay, for addition and subtraction, let me take a two cross two matrix. What is two cross two matrix? It means it has two rows and two columns okay you all have seen the columns in temples in church in universities in so many places so columns is what the which uh, holds the roof uh, above the floor so column is like a vertical thing so whatever we see vertical in a matrix that is actually column and so if that is column then another thing the horizontal one will obviously be row okay so let us see here let it be x1, uh, x2, x3, and x4. Now I'm denoting them as x1, x2, x3, x4. But I can tell I can denote them in some other notation also. Let it be x11, x12, 
x21 and x22. What does it actually mean? It means it's 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. It is all some kind of roll number for these elements. Okay, this is 1, 1 entry. This is 1, 2 entry. It means, what does this comma mean? First component of this coordinate, you can say it doesn't coordinate also, though it is not conventional, but I'm saying you can call it as coordinate. Now, 1, 1, it means first row, first column. 1, 2, first row, second column. 2, 1, second row, first column. Second row, second column. Okay, this is how we call it. So it is my 2 cross 2 matrix. And matrix is classified into two classes. First one is square matrix, which is this one. Square matrix means number of rows and number of columns are same. As similarly in a geometric figure of square, where the length, of, length and width both are same. And obviously, in which the number of rows and number of columns are not same, they are called as rectangular matrix, as same as a rectangle. Okay. Now, I am wanting to add it with another matrix. Let it be say this one. Okay. Now you guys can intuitively understand that we have to do component-wise. We shall add this one with this one only. Okay. Just imagine I have four pets here. Okay. Cat, dog, squirrel, and then panda. Okay. So I have four pets: cat, dog, squirrel, panda. So I need friend for them. I need friend for them in the sense, uh, you know, I need girlfriend for them. So obviously. Obviously, I'm not going to take one dog with one panda. That is not possible. A, a, a male panda is not going to like a female, uh, female dog or a male dog is not going to like a female panda. So I need actually another female dog or a female panda for my male panda. Okay. So the addition will be exact entry wise 1 1 with 1 1 2 2 with 2 2 3 3 with 3 sorry 2 1 with 2 1 in this way okay so the sum ultimately will be x 1 1 plus y 1 1 x 1 2 plus y 1 2 then x 2 1 plus y 2 1 and x 2 2 plus y 2 2 now i have done this for only 2 plus 2 order matrix you can do it for any order matrix okay but one thing if and only if the order of the matrix is same, then only matrix addition is possible. Okay, because just imagine if we, if I had one more row here, like x31 and x32, and then it would be 3 cross 2 matrix. Then, okay, it is done. With whom then these two would add then? there would have no room for these two to get added so then the matrix matrix addition is not even possible okay so to add two matrices we need uh, we need to same order matrices okay now if we are if we are interested about uh, subtraction then this one will be like this okay this one is just matrix subtraction. These all are the same. Okay, so this was the first video where I explain what matrix is and the addition and subtraction of matrix. And in the next video, I'm gonna tell you what is matrix multiplication and how to manipulate that. Okay, so please subscribe my channel and share among your friends. I think and I, I don't normally think I believe that this lecture series will will be able to make you score more than 85 percent even if you didn't study mathematics for entire year just you have to give two to three hours every day watch my videos go through ncrt and rd sharma see though i have in my introductory video though i have said that rd sharma is very important and everything but remember ncrt is your textbook and um, RD Sharma is just a reference. So try to solve each and every problem of NCRT and then go for RD Sharma. It will be better if you just uh, go through the examples of RD Sharma 
nothing more will be needed for your board examination because the question standard and board examination i'm not going to say that is easy but that is not even harder hard though that is not the level of the end process the engineering end process give questions at, at a level which is way more higher than your board examination so in a board examination what is most needed just suck entire ncrt and try to you know try to just uh, just you know just take some scoop of rd sharma that will be enough for board examination okay so try to do your best all the best jai hind